You're watching Good Day Tampa Bay. And the news starts now. Well, it's a family affair there, but sometimes you buy these tickets with people in the office, people you don't know so well that aren't part of your family, and you find out what they're really made of once all that money is dished out. Here now to join us to talk about this is Felix Vega. Talk about the problems of what can happen if you win the lottery. We think uh, after we finish jumping up and down that everything's going to be great. But if you don't own that ticket, say you went in with some, uh, some co-workers and you bought it, what are the legal pitfalls that face you uh, if something like that happens? There's a lot of legal pitfalls, Doug, and you see a lot of these problems come up in those office pool situations. And a lot of it has to do with an oral agreement. For example, if you won the lottery and you promised Lindsay that I'm going to pay you, you know, X amount of money, I swear to God I'm going to pay you, and then you go and cash in the ticket, and then you decide, you know what, I don't feel like paying her. Well, that becomes a problem. And because a lot of people don't know that 70% of those that, that win the lottery end up losing all their winnings in mm -hmm. the end. So yep. big thing, hire an attorney if you can. There's complicated laws, especially with estates and taxes. Make a copy of the ticket if you're in, a, in an office pool. If you do win, best idea, form a trust or a partnership. That way someone else is paying out the money to the individuals every, every single month. And, and early on, of course, get everything in writing, right? Exactly. Yeah. And how about the, you know, the idea of should you get the money over time or the one-time payout? The family from Missouri decided we're going to take the one-time payout of $136.5 million. Right. We all should be so fortunate. But is that a better deal than, uh, than, than you know? In the long run, there's a lot less hassles with taking the lump sum payment because you take your taxes right off the top, and that's the best way to do it. If you take the individual monthly payments, then you get into complications where you're paying taxes on top, top of taxes. If the interest, you know, grows at one point but goes down at another point, so it becomes a lot more complicated. What you want to do, take the money, your taxes are done off the top, and then put that money in a trust account, as I said, so it can grow from for the the future. The um, the lottery law industry, I imagine you we know, can make a legal industry out of anything you're, anymore. You're a lawyer, right? You of course you have you know BP. When that happened, you had a lot of people trying to uh, to offer people advice, and now you have lawyers trying to offer advice. And this is kind of an industry where if you're a lottery winner. I'm a, specially, a specialist in this area and I can give you advice. Talk about that. It's become so complicated and they've become really, really interesting because a lot of these people, they get in these situations, like for example, there's one uh, case out of Maryland, Miranda Wilson. She famously went on the air and said that she uh, won the lottery, $656 million that she won with her co-workers and said, oh, wait a minute, I lost the ticket. And then come to find out, she had given the ticket to three other people, and then the people, the co-workers found out about it and now have sued her. That case is winding itself through court. Another one, five construction workers in Elizabethtown, New Jersey, they had to sue one of their friends, Americo Lopez, because he did the same thing, saying, oh, wait, I took the, my personal ticket as the one that won, not the pool ticket. So well, those we, are the complications that you run into. And these, I found dozens of lawsuits like this going on yeah. all over the country, and it's only getting worse because people, you know, they win the lottery and it's like, well, you know what? I'm going to take it to court. And yeah. sometimes that's the only way that they can enforce their winnings. Okay, we could talk about this all morning, but we're out of time right now. Appreciate you being with no us problem, this Doug. morning. Okay, thanks. And now, Fox 13 meteorologist Lindsay Milborn with your Sky Tower Omni forecast. You're looking for some cool temperatures to get you into the holiday spirit as we start out this month of December.